Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, back with a video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel and DroidDog.com, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new updated Spotify beta application for Android 4.0 and above devices. Now, if you didn't already know, Spotify started off with a horrible mobile application. You had to have a premium account to use it, which is $10 a month. And if you already have a premium account, you can try this out. So I'll have the link below in the description for checking out this new user interface. And this is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and take a look through it now. Basically, it's a complete overhaul, and you get a few extra new features, not a lot of new features, but really basically a general overhaul of the look of the app. So here are all the playlists I've created, and we're in the playlist view, and basically the way you navigate is by hitting that menu button up top, and here you get all your different ways you can navigate through here. So search, we'll be able to search through all the Spotify songs. If we want to go to all our playlists here, this is the playlist view, and I'll get to the music player in a second. There's also a what's new category, Still no radio feature. I haven't been able to find the radio feature yet in the application. Something I was really looking forward to is still not present. Of course, you can swipe over if you don't feel like pressing the button. Also, you can visit your Spotify inbox, which I don't really use, your Spotify friends, which are on Facebook, and the Spotify settings. You can see you can now turn on extreme streaming quality and download quality, which I have turned on. So basically, it's gotten a bit of an update to the Hollow or Halo or whatever you want to call it user interface. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the music player itself because that's basically what you use Spotify for. So I'll go into my house track which has all of the uh, favorite house tracks I have now and here we'll open a song and this is a look at the player interface. So you can see here it's opened up at the bottom and we can tap on the music player and there we go. That's what it's going to look like when you're playing from now on. You can still add stuff to playlists, you can still make stuff available for offline use, but this is basically what it's going to look like when you're playing and using your music. You can exit out here to be able to continue scrolling. Nice, it's nifty that you always have the play pause button here, which is nice, and you can share playlists with a whole bunch of different applications. And of course, if you want to make them available offline, you can hit that, uh, actually you can hit the uh, download playlist button and it'll start syncing the entire thing, which is cool. Anyway, I'm going to cancel download because I just like to clean my stuff in the cloud. But that's basically it. That's a look at the new Spotify interface here. If we want to go ahead and take a look at an artist, because that's the last thing that we wanted to uh, take a look at here. We took at the artist button, and this is where we have more of that swiping from left to right look at it. So here is the overview of the songs that I have both on and off my device. The top songs, it's still not radio, obviously, uh, but then you can swipe to the side and you have related artists, so that's pretty cool. This wasn't in the app before, so I like the fact that they're adding features and not just changing the user interface. So we can hope for more additions in the future. It's looking good, Spotify, keep up the good work. This is a step in the right direction, and I'm looking forward to seeing more soon. Either way, this has been a look at Spotify beta for Android 4.0 and above devices. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.